guys welcome back to my channel i'm going to be doing a pick a card i just received a bunch of decks from my good friend angelic revelation 144 and i wanted to do a reading with her decks i actually already recorded one and it was the craziest thing i was literally interrupted like seven times and um i was trying to put it all together and i couldn't so uh hopefully there are no interruptions on this one okay so this is how is this um person that you're thinking of feeling about you what's the energy of the connection now in the last one i did use her divine domestic soul connections and this a lot of these messages seem like it would be coming more from the reader so um the first one i recorded i didn't include any of my decks this one i just wanted one um, deck that is coming from the masculine so we could have like clear communication from the other person as well so okay um, my three piles are this heart um, bracelet these are all from rising sun oracle i'll put her information down below the second one is the unicorn and the third one is the kitty cat the pink cat okay so this is going to be how is this person feeling towards you and what is the energy of the connection so let's get started with the first pile we've got the universal heart oracle guidance from spirit your guardian angels and ancestors a brand new beautiful deck from angelic revelation 144 spirit is aware that there are things within your life that have been disappointing recently this is normal and happens to us all but it is also an opportunity for you to do something about it there are going to be exciting changes up ahead if you choose to stop staying stuck and waiting on other people to change be the change you wish to be and we will bring in the people who are destined to walk with you on your path so this is saying, you know, in order for the universe to step up, you have to step up. Now, a lot of you might be saying, but I have done the changes and I don't see anything. It may not happen in your time. It may not be the changes that you're seeking. Sometimes we get what we need, but not what we want. That doesn't mean we stop going. That doesn't mean more blessings aren't on their way, but patience might be just be something you need to practice. And I know some of you are like, oh, but I've been, I changed for 30 years. Just keep doing that. And just keep trying to get joy from the things that you cultivate within your own life and try to be happy before the things come that you think will make you happy, okay? Now I'm going to um, use three tarot cards here. We have three of pentacles. This is about like collaboration with other people, uh, working, you know, the people that you're surrounded by. We have six of pentacles and we have five of wands. So you, you might be having um, some conflict with you know creating a balanced situation there could have been conflict with this person that you're thinking of where it just wasn't balanced you were trying to work with them you were trying to be a part of their life but maybe they just weren't letting you in they weren't giving back what you were giving to them okay there was just something not right here there was like a sense of discord of not seeing eye to eye we have perfect love this is from her yin and yang love oracle and we have renewed faith, okay? So what I feel is that someone, some of you guys might be meeting someone who may actually be your perfect match. You have to be open to it. And it might renew your faith in love. Maybe this person that you were dealing with, there was so much fighting, there was so much chaos going on that you lost faith in love. But I feel your faith is going to be renewed. Things are going to happen. You might have like a storybook romance that you never imagined, okay? Let's see what it says here from this Divine Dating Lovers Oracle, Stressed and Victory. So, yeah, I feel you guys have been really stressed, but you are going to have victory. Don't focus on the things that weren't working out. Focus on the things that you want. And I feel there could be victory with this person that you're dealing with, okay? Um, you you might have renewed faith with them after a lot of fighting. You guys might start collaborating better together. You might start seeing more eye to eye. You might start having more positive energy between you. So never lose faith either. Just keep believing that you can have a new beginning, even with this person, okay? I can't believe how much time we wasted on bullshit. That's what I'm so, oh, wow. So look at this. I feel you guys are going to eventually see eye to eye and realize that it was just a waste of time. This relationship seems more like a situation ship right now. I feel like you're taking my love for granted. I do feel this person is going to step up and give you a more balanced reciprocal energy here where they weren't in the past. They were taking you for granted, but I feel like they're going to come through and you're going to realize 
they're gonna realize you guys were wasting so much time when what you wanted was just so simple from them. You weren't even asking for too much. You just wanted to be able to collaborate with them and work together from them, okay? And then we have from Romantic Confessions from Divine Masculine, I reminisce about our memories often. So this person is thinking a lot, maybe about the fights, maybe also about times you guys had together drinking when you were celebrating, when you were less stressed. And they do want peace. They do want equality with you. They do want to make things better, I feel. They want to take it back to the good times, okay? Let's get some charms and see what other messages for this first pile. We have a cat. We have an apple. I just thought of like an apple tree. I don't know, something with like nature and fruit and like sweetness, okay? Getting back to the sweet times that you guys had together. Horse, I feel this is like fast movement. So you might be surprised that things might start to pick up very fast with this person where they left off. Because before you were wasting time, I feel with the turtle. So I feel there's like an energy about being patient because things when they do pick back up they're going to get very fast and I don't know the apple could have a different meaning to all of you guys I just dropped it this peace sign is staring at me and this is what I was saying I feel like you guys are seeking peace with each other so I do feel like there will be peace in this dynamic okay okay so that is pile number one and they all came tumbling down Let's move on to pile number two. Okay, so pile number two, what's this connection about? What's going on? Spirit says there is always hope. You can expect some tangible changes to occur in your life very soon. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities confirming that you are on the right track. Your enthusiastic, determined attitude and positive outlook is helping you powerfully attract a favorable outcome. You are capable of rising above conflicts that have challenged you in the past. Let go and move forward and all will be well. So this is saying that like change your attitude because whatever you focus on is what you're going to manifest. Okay. So you are going to be able to have positive, tangible outcomes if you believe it, if you believe that things can change here. Okay. We've got humor. All right. So focus on the joy and the laughter. That is what's going to move you guys to the next level, okay? I do feel like there is potential for you guys to have good times again if you guys have had these fights, all right? So focus on the joyful, happy aspects of this connection and laugh at like the mess, okay? Don't get so serious about everything. Just be more lighthearted about it, okay? Because that's what's going to attract more happy, joyful times in your life. Maybe do some laughter yoga. Laugh every day for a few minutes just with a friend or something like that. Adventure. Yeah, I feel you, you could have really good times coming. I feel you've been very lonely a lot. And like, lonely a lot. I feel you've been very lonely maybe in this connection. You haven't felt that feeling that like you're with another person that someone's like even energetically with you but i feel like you never know what's around the corner you never know the adventures and the good times that are right around the corner for you okay let's get the tarot here we've got king of cups so this person that you're asking about i feel like actually has really strong feelings for you it's this intense scorpio energy coming through here so um there also could be an ending to a period. Let's see the other tarot here. Nine of Swords. Yeah, an ending to like the dark, anxious times here. You guys are going to revive this connection and like this person's emotion will be revi revived. I feel like if you show them that you're still capable of having lighthearted, joyful times with them, they're going to remember the love that they once had for you and the love that felt like it died is going to be revived here. All right. This could also be a Cancer or Pisces, but I do feel like this person has really strong emotions for you. Trust the signs because it is me sending them to you. This is from my romantic confessions from Divine Masculine. So you may be getting signs about this connection and this person saying trust them because they're coming from that person. Okay. And then we've got, oh, wow, I picked three by accident. It frustrates me that I can't connect with anyone else the way I can connect with you sexually. Sexually, our sexual connection is magical and no one else compares. I feel like you guys have been very lonely because you feel like nobody compares to this connection that you had with this person. So that's why you've been very lonely, okay? 
I know that I shouldn't compare others to you, but I just can't help it. You are a tough act to follow and absolutely no one measures up. No matter what has happened between us, you are still the one. This feels like a twin flame soulmate connection. It's like nobody compares to this connection. When you told me you thought I was too good to be true, I was one of the few good and true people in your life. So this other person may have felt like this was too good to be true. You guys had so much love and maybe they had so much emotion for you, but there was like transformation that needed to happen. Ways you guys both needed to grow so you guys could come together and really realize you are each other is like one true love here, okay? <coughs> Let's pull some charms about this connection and see. keep getting that a heart yeah i just said one true love there's definitely like a love here okay it's like someone has the key they only they have the key to your heart all right that's what i feel with the key and the heart but you've needed time with this turtle you've needed things to happen in separation you guys have needed to learn lessons you needed to understand things without each other and we've got a pea, pea pod here. I don't know. I feel there's like a lot that this could mean like safety, um, security, um, nourishment, okay? But I do feel you guys feel a lot of love, like a strong connection. I feel like it's mutual and I feel like things just needed to transform for you guys to have a more lighthearted connection here, okay? All right, that's really random, that pea pod. All right, so that's pile number two. Let's get into pile number three and see what this is all about. All right, so pile number three. Spirit wants you to know that you are heading towards higher security, which will be established on a firm and stable foundation. New opportunities are being presented to improve your stability in the physical world within the home and business. Inspiring opportunities and collaborations may require long days and late nights to achieve your goals. You are being very supported with your ventures and abundance will flow freely in many forms. Keep going. You've got this. So this is something very much related to jobs. I feel like work. All right. So this is some, saying, but I also feel with this like late nights and achieve your goals, you may end up meeting someone or having a connection with this person where you guys have like a lot of talks, a lot of late night conversations. Okay. Loyalty. This is from the yin and yang oracle. We've got loyalty here in this connection. Joy. Okay. C content. I feel this has been like a positive connection for the most part for this pile. And cool. <laughs> cool, content, loyal. There hasn't been much struggle. Let's see what tarot we got here. Knight of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. A lot of time and energy like it says. The chariot cancer energy and ace of pentacles so this could be like a brand new connection that you end up establishing or a new beginning but it said a firm foundation here which is what ace of pentacles is all about so i feel like you guys may be very surprised that things will start to move forward where before they were moving forward very slowly things might start to pick up really fast with this chariot cancer energy virgo energy uh, and Capricorn and Taurus potentially as well. But things are going to go in a very easy breezy like mode here once they get started. I feel like maybe they had a hard time getting started. Maybe you just met this person and at first it was kind of like, oh, it's cool, calm. And now it's going to start to move really fast out of nowhere, this connection. Okay, let's see what you want to say. I get triggered when I am angry or have decided to walk away from our connection. The universe decides to bombard me with your name and your higher self stalks me with musical messages. Okay, so you could have walked away or the, angrily from this connection and that could have made this person want to move forward and start like a new beginning because they realize all these positive things about your connection. It's so frustrating the way you compare me to others. I am not like anyone else. My success is not measured by status and material items. I am unique, authentic, and proud of who, who I am. Why don't you just see me, my heart, and my soul? 
So yeah, this person you're dealing with could have been even this first message, like very focused on money and material things and realized though that they had like joy and happiness and fulfillment and contentment with you and they were searching outside of this connection. They might have this awakening because the chariot is a lot about like a heart awakening and they might realize it's you who brings them the ultimate joy, the ultimate contentment, okay? We are getting older and wasting precious time playing these dumbass runner chaser games. Let's just level the fuck up already. Are we doing this or what? That's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's like, you don't have time to waste anymore. You're either moving fast or you're moving away from this. And then they say, maybe in the future we could have another go at this. I feel you guys are open to that, but it has to be fast moving. I do feel they're open to it too. I do feel they've had some sort of awakening here. Okay. So let's get some charms from this. Got butterfly, transformation, flying away, flying towards you. We've got flower, things are like blooming and blossoming. Tree, a lot of nature stuff. This connection could have had a lot of nature, being outside, being around nature, all these beautiful things. Ace of Pentacles is like wanting to see it grow, wanting to see it flourish with the flower and the trees. And then this guitar is staring at me. So I definitely feel this connection has a lot of music elements to it. I feel you guys connect through music in the 5D. You both hear music and you both think about each other and that's how you guys stay connected, all right? So this person could have been someone that just like wanted to be cool. They wanted to have status, but now they're realizing like focusing on their coins. I don't know. I feel like they're realizing more so what they want. And yeah, they want to be good in business. You could really be dealing with a business owner in this connection, but they also want something solid that they could stand on emotionally with this chariot. All right. So I do feel like they're going to level up. It just wasn't in the time that you want and may not be in the time that you want. All right, so that's your reading, guys. I hope it resonated with you guys, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.